For many years, Southern Kaduna has been in the news for wrong reasons. No thanks to the lingering attacks by bandits on communities across the region. Beyond the attacks claiming hundreds of innocent lives, with the attendant destruction of properties worth millions of naira, the socio-economic activities of the people, including education, have been disrupted. This conference, organized by the Senator representing Southern Kaduna, is focusing on how to revamp the fortunes of the region that has been fatigued by lingering insecurity. Speakers at the event are of the view that despite being ravaged by insecurity, the people of Southern Kaduna can still overcome their pains and agonies through education for youths. By this gesture, we are putting out a story that is an alternative, that instead of us to look at our victimhood and our wounds and what we have suffered, we can rise from the ashes and move to the place of triumph. We are faced with overlapping crisis. When I say overlapping, it's not that this crisis will end and the other one will, this crisis will end, the other one will start. No, the crisis are coming at the same time. That is what we are faced with. So any region that is faced with this overlapping crisis, we have to think twice. And which is the way out? One of the ways is to think seriously of education. With the challenge of insecurity, the senator representing the zone and the president of the Southern Kaduna Forum are asking the government and security agencies to live up to their constitutional responsibilities of protecting lives and property of the citizens. Our traditional ruler in Tampas have been reduced to nothing. They're supposed to be the custodian of our culture, the first point of call in respect of insecurity, but they've not been carried along. So government has a responsibility now to come and meet with our traditional rulers our community leaders, our religious leaders, sit down and ask questions. How do we bring this to an end? Allow people to air out their view. I want to tell you, once you meet the community leader, they will tell you the way to fight this insecurity. We know that the government are doing their own part, but we are calling on more and more work by the government so that we can have a secure environment for a smooth running of our activities. Although the lingering insecurity in Southern Kaduna, orchestrated by bandits and terrorists, has continued to have devastating effects on the socio-economic activities of the area, the stakeholders are optimistic that the present administration will in no distant time restore peace and security to their troubled communities.